What is good, J Mike Tech Talk? But before you do anything, it's time to hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss a thing of the Unisport Live Football awesomeness. Dude. Anyway, another day, another Tech Talk. And today, we have one with the Adidas Copa. No, not the Adidas Copa Mundial. Instead, we have the fresh, the brand new Adidas Copa SL, which is built with the same vibe, feel, and look as the OG boot, but in a more modern, sleek, and most important of all, light package. But guys, which is better looking? You should let me know in the poll to your right. And with those words, I say let's take a deep tech dive with the Copa SL. Now, obviously the two boots look pretty much alike, but looking at the tech side of things, there aren't that many similarities because, well, one is from 1982 and the other is from 2016. Now I'm gonna compare the two bad boys a bit later, but looking at the upper on the Copa SL, Adidas really wanted to maintain that padded, comfortable cushion feel of the original, but in a lighter, more durable, and less water-absorbing package. Which is why they turned to their Hybrid Touch Synthetic that emulates all the good stuff from leather with a soft touch, a suede inner liner, and this nice padded cushion feel on the ball. Also, when you make a Copa, you have to include the tongue. So Adidas do really slap one on the Copa SL as well. And also to kind of pay tribute to all the little stitches and details we know from the Copa Mundial, the Copa SL have all these little shiny stripes and strips on the side and the forefoot of the boot. Now, Adidas haven't really said anything about set details, but I wouldn't expect them to be anything more than aesthetic features. So don't expect any added grip or stability from the stripes. You'll have to rely on the laces to get the lockdown, just like in the old days. The sole plate itself was also a pretty obvious choice for the Germans because they wanted conical studs for well, obvious reasons. But the only plate to give them that is the sprint frame plate used on the A16.1. And that's a pretty no-nonsense plate that makes turning and moving around a smooth experience. It's a nice plate. But the only thing that got me thinking is that it has an external heel counter. The OG Copa Mundial does not. So why not, I thought, instead use the plate from the Glor 16.1. Same style layout, but with an internal heel counter to make it look more like the original. I mean, on the other hand, the sprint frame plate looks quite cool and perhaps a bit more modern. So who am I actually to complain? But the big question, how does the Copa SL stack up against the OG, the classical, the godfather Copa Mundial? Well, tech-wise, I think it's a bit unfair to compare them because they're so, so different. It's like comparing apples and bananas. But looks-wise, I actually think Adidas have done a pretty good job. With the biggest difference being the black sole plate on the Copa SL and the white sole plate on the Copa Mundial. And apart from that, I think it's actually a pretty nice kind of close modern interpretation on the Copa SL. And they've even made a small fix because ladies and gentlemen, they've stitched the tongue so it stays down on the Copa SL. No more do-it-yourself rubber band fixes, I guess. Now, the other thing to mention is the weight because the Copa Mundial is the undisputed heavyweight champion coming in at 331 grams with the more nimble Copa SL weighing 184 grams. But apart from that, the Copa SL is actually a pretty cool boot. And it's a nice alternative for young people who's not really feeling that old school leather vibe. And this is a pretty cool, lightweight, classical alternative. But when it comes down to it, if you want a classic slipper-like fit, then there is no beating the Copa Mundial. It's, it's really as simple as that. But if you are looking for a modern, less water absorbing, comfortable, durable, and lightweight boot, then the Copa SL feels like it's got a lot going for it. And just slipping it on my feet before doing this, I gotta say it's really, really comfortable and feels rather good. So I guess I'm gonna have to try it out after shooting this. Cause I'm really digging that retro, no nonsense look. But what about you guys? What do you think? Copa Mundial or Copa SL? You should let me know in the comment section below or in the poll in the info card to your right. I think that was pretty much it for today. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you later on in Newsball Web TV. Signing off, cheerio.